All right, before we get into it um, with the Hydro Village area can, I kind of want to go over the specs. So your water capacity on this is 15 liters. Empty weight is 4.5 pounds. It, the ultra filtration for the um, hollow fiber filter is, filters under 1.1 microns, has a filter capacity of, one, of 10,000 gallons of water. Removes uh, bacteria, E. coli, Cryptospartium, Cis, Giardia, and more. And then the activated carbon filter is good for 250 gallons. And that removes chemicals, dirty taste, and color. So I want to go over those a little bit. Um, we're going to do a quick video clip of when I first got the jerry can, just kind of filling up my kitchen sink and showing you how well it can flow. And then we're going to go out to the outside um, review by the campsite. So stay tuned. Alright, so we got the jerry can. We're gonna take it down to this stream down here. Show you. It's actually not the dirtiest water either, but it's definitely not safe to drink without filtering. So we're gonna use some of that. And we're gonna fill it up and show you how it works. Stay tuned. Alright, here we go guys. Just... <laughs> Almost lost it down the river or the creek, whatever this is. Okay, now it's about full. I'm gonna go back to camp. Show you how this puppy works. All right, let's look. It's not the dirtiest water, also not the cleanest. All right, so we got the jerry rig all filled up. Well, mostly full. Just kind of show you how it works. Get your pump, your valve here. Got it set to open. I'm gonna pump it into here. Showed you on the last part, it wasn't the cleanest water, so. Look at that, we got water, guys. bubble like that. Give it a few more pumps. Okay, you don't have to keep pumping it. This is the beauty. Look how much pressure that is. You know, it's kind of sputtering a little bit. I might not have that on there all the way. But... It's still filling that up. Look how clean that is. That is some clean filtered water. Safe to drink, good to the taste. You want to turn off the valve, you just shut it off like that. I may not have that sealed properly. Yeah, I think that was the issue. See how it's flowing better now? Now this is with the activated carbon filter on there. When you take that off, the flow is even it's a lot better actually um, but this isn't bad at all it's a little slower but you're going to filter out a lot more stuff you're going to filter out taste as well pesticides all kinds of bacteria everything so when you turn it off pretty simple Let's see how it tastes That tastes really good, actually. That is really good. It's pretty crystal clear, and that, that activated carbon filter filtered out that taste of that creek water, so. Pretty awesome, guys. Such a great um, idea. Pretty simple. It's a collecting, you know, collect the water, drink, use it for drinking water. It's not meant to store water, um, but, you know, it's, it's such a great idea. It just works. Pump it a few times. Look at that, it's still got pressure. Like I said, if you take the activated carbon filter off, it actually flows a lot better. Um, but why not have that on there to get more 
filter it out and have better taste in your water as well. I think it's worth it um, to use that filter. I'm just gonna this away for real quick. Uh, seriously, that was tasty. Tasty, nice and cold. Really good water. But one feature I wanna show you here. So if you don't wanna use your activated carbon, you got this little storage area right here. You can stuck the, the active carbon filter fits in there perfectly or you can get a spare one from their website and then just store it in there. So you always have an extra filter. Look, we still got pressure. I only pumped it like eight to 10 times if that. Not a lot of pressure. So with the activated carbon, you'll get, or without it, you'll get a lot more uh, better water pressure. So if you're up in the, way up in the mountains and it's pretty clean water, you're not worried about pesticides, that kind of stuff, then uh, not as much about the taste, then you wouldn't need to, you could take that filter off. Here, I'll just show you how it works. Let me, write that, let me write that down, and then we'll come back and show you how that works. Stay tuned. All right, so let me show you how this works. So this is your filter and your activated carbon. You can just remove that and then use the other filter just by itself, then you, if you want to. So you take this little guy off. Mine got bent a little bit. That might have been one issue with the water pressure. You got to be careful, that kind of stuff. And you just attach it to there. and then you can just use that um, part of the filter and save your activated carbon. It's a great product, guys. And then it just screws back in here. I just want to make sure that little guy is kind of bent um, up a little bit. Make sure it's snug on there so that the water doesn't, you don't have to fight gravity too much. And you just screw it back on. You're good to go. Awesome product super convenient for camping but a great survival product guys because you're in a situation where your water supply is contaminated uh, even by you or you know you don't have the ability to get water or water gets shut off due to like a grid down scenario you need water if you live by a creek like i live by tons of them I'm up in the mountains now but um you can just take that up to your water source use the filter and you've got clean drinking water for your family that's about a four gallon I believe uh, jug so pretty awesome man really great to have in your food storage or your survival kit and great for just car camping it's got a lot of practical uses as well so again not meant to be stored used as a storage device it doesn't you know you're not going to want to leave it stored and put it filled and uh, use it as a drinking water type thing not or and they even have a what I saw on their website it's pretty sweet they have a shower attachment for that so you could actually use it to clean off a camp so Great camping accessory, but again, great survival water um, prep. So I'm very impressed by this. One of the coolest products I saw at PrepperCon this year. I got a few of their water bottles from Hydro Blue, and I'm gonna kind of go over those here in a separate video. But jerry can, way cool. 170 bucks worth. It's every worth every penny. 170, 180. You have to double check. Well, maybe 179. But worth every penny um, for its convenience and how well it works. Thanks for watching.